there's a pretty big scam going around, and it is unbannable. But how? Let me show you how the scam works. There's a lot of different forms, but this is a super common one that's been plaguing Skyblock. Let's say you want to play dungeons, but your friends are offline. So we open up Party Finder, and it's pretty easy to find someone hosting a party. Here's one right here that says, Perm Party Must VC. Awesome, we can have a permanent dungeons party. All we gotta do is just VC, which just stands for voice chat. So we join the party, but then we are immediately warped onto the owner's island, into a mysterious room. There's some NPCs that say click me, so we click them, and they direct us to a Discord server. Join the dungeon's number one VC, you don't need to talk, by the way. It gives you the link. A voice chat server where you don't need to talk? That's a bit weird, that sounds a little counterintuitive, but I'm kind of mentally ill, so maybe I'm wrong. Let's join up and see what it's about. So we join up, everything looks pretty legit. It asks us to verify our account, which is pretty normal in a lot of Discord servers. So we put in our Minecraft name, mine is not Kekofari, and then I put in my email. I get a verification code sent to my email, and then I entered in the Discord server. That was super easy! Hooray! Except for the fact that five minutes later, we are unable to log on to our Minecraft account, as it has been hacked. How does a scam work when they are never even asking for your password? And why is a scam unbannable? As you might have figured, the scam happens through this verification system. This is a fake verification, it's not real. You're just giving them your information for free. The only thing you're verifying is your lack of brain cells. So when you put in your Minecraft username and your email, you're basically just giving the scammer this information for free. They will then use your email address that you gave them to sign into your Microsoft account. Now obviously they don't have your password, so they will request a one-time password which gets sent to you in your email. They say, yo, that code that just got sent to you, that's the Discord verification code. Type it in here. But in reality, it's the one-time password, and you just gave them complete access to your account. Congrats, you played yourself. Once they are on your account, they will delete your own email address from your account and then add their own, thus locking you out of your Microsoft account permanently. The scammers use Discord webhooks to make this process a lot faster and partly automated. Party Finder is not the only way these guys will try to swindle your account. Take a look at this method. This one comes from Big Poyo. A person in Hub 1 partied me saying 3,375 gems, take or double it and give it to the next person. I said I'll take it, and he said to add his Discord, so I did. The person who promised the gems, aka just another SB player, claims that he's making a video, which is why he's giving out the gems in the first place. He says in order to send the gems, he needs Poyo's email. Now Poyo unfortunately does give out their email address, which was their second mistake. Their first mistake is using Discord Lite mode. But anyways, now the scammer sends a screenshot claiming that they need a verification code in order to send the gems over. Which, as you may have guessed, the code that was sent to Poyo's email was a Microsoft one-time password. Poyo realizes this is a scam and aborts, thankfully. Now I got the scammer's profile and I decided to search him up. Of course their account is fairly new, made earlier this year. And then of course they have their YouTube channel. So here's their YouTube channel, 686 subscribers. I'm assuming a lot of this is uh, pretty much botted. Here's their one video on the channel. It's essentially just a staged fake video of him gifting a cosmetic to someone who beats him in a duel, as shown by the title. But like I've said, it's literally just staged. This is not real. <laughs> He's just trying to give himself fake credibility by posting this. As you can see, there's a lot of dislikes and the comments are turned off. So don't fall for this. If someone really wanted to gift you stuff, they would only need your Minecraft name. So what happens when your account gets yoinky spoinky like that? What do the scammers do with it? Well, there's a few options. First of all, they sell your coins or all your gear on your profile. Or they might just sell your Minecraft account. It's like a liquid gold, it's free money for them. But what is even worse than selling the account is using it to promote further scams. That's right, so let me show you what I mean. One of the accounts that was running the scam, their name was Linus. So I decided to check out the island in replay mode so we could see outside of the box, literally. And this is what I found. Okay, so this right here in replay mode is uh, Linus's island. You can see there's a whole sugarcane farm. I doubt any scammer took the time to play this game and built a sugarcane farm. Um, oh wow, this goes really deep. <laughs> Wait, this is a huge layer. Okay, yeah, people don't use these farms anymore, I don't think, because of the garden update. It's just so much easier to do it there. So this has to be an OG player who probably fell for the verification code scam and now they're using his account to advertise. So yeah, it turns out Linus was probably once an innocent player who got ratted and now his account is being used to promote bad stuff. 
so if one day one of your friends comes up to you and is like yo give me 500 million coins and three pictures of your feet from different angles just keep in mind his account could have been ratted and it could be a scammer talking to you now you might be like, how would anyone fall for these kinds of scams? Well, these guys focus on quantity rather than quality, so to speak. They just try to reach as many people as they can. Like just another SP player, you can see he's reached hundreds of people simply by looking at his dislike count. Or going back to these party finder scams, these guys have bots hosting parties all day every day. Yeah, I forgot to mention, the guys who warp you into their island they are literal bots set up by these scammers to just warp you as soon as you join their party. And while 95% of the people might know it's a scam, there are going to be those few people that join the Discord server and fall for the verification scam. So if these scams are so prominent, why won't Hypixel ban these guys? Well, it's pretty simple. The report system kind of sucks. The only way to report anyone is to use a slash report command. But you cannot slash report someone who hasn't typed a message recently. And these party finder scammers, they don't type messages. The entire scam happens in party finder and then through the NPCs and then through Discord. Like you can't even report them, man. It sucks. Like imagine you see a dude throw a rock at a child and you can't report him. That would definitely reduce the chances of him getting caught. Now you might be like, what about these free rank giveaway scams? You can report these guys, they type in, the, uh, they type in Hypixel. Well, yes, they do type in Hypixel, but the entire scam is happening through Discord, so there's technically not sufficient evidence for them to get banned. Like, whatever happens in Discord is not Hypixel's problem, basically. So, like, they're not gonna get banned on Hypixel because the scam happens through Discord. And Hypixel does not take any direct reports. I've tried this and you just get an auto-generated message. It's like talking to a brick wall. Okay, so the advertising happens through Hypixel, but the actual scam happens through Discord. So what if Discord bans these guys and deletes all the webhooks so they can't operate? Well, it doesn't do anything. Scammers can just create a new account for free, which is actually what a lot of these guys do. That's why their accounts are pretty new. This guy's account was made a month ago. To truly get rid of these scams, you have to destroy the root of all this, which is dealing with the scammer themselves. I propose we bring back the guillotine. 1,000 likes and we will publicly execute a scammer. Yeah. In the meantime, don't give out your Microsoft codes. Stay safe. Peace out.